Follow along with this rubber tree interesting painting practice with watercolors and gouache background. An outline drawing is done, which is available for download. I applied tape around the edge line to create a beautiful border edge after finishing. With elastic eraser, removing the excess amount of graphite off. And here I'm using cold pressed paper because this is quite a fast painting and I wanted to try cold pressed how does it work for more looser paintings now let's do watercolor mixes adding water to my color palette starting with sap green lemon yellow perlin green Ultramarine blue for more cooler tones. Melia red, lemon yellow, alizarin crimson, manganese violet, let's start painting. Applying water to the half of the leaf. I am painting one section at a time, even with looser painting. I am still using some techniques from realistic painting and taking a very thin amount of watercolors and with round synthetic brush applying from the outer edge of the green sections of this rubber tree leaf and going towards the middle section, leaving the white edge line, which is visible in the reference, untouched. In this, for this composition, I'm using three references. I couldn't find the composition I like in one in any of the photos I took, so I decided to use three reference photos to create one composition. That is okay to use, especially in a looser watercolor painting. Looser watercolor painting is also amazing before practicing and doing some bigger, more serious realistic painting. You can draw your composition, make a looser paint applying with wider and broader brush strokes just to see if the composition works, if the colors are right, set in places or tonal values and it will help you to understand if your painting will be good-looking. Looser uh, paintings go much faster. It is also nice to train to see more of tonal values and apply more quicker way. Two to three layers is enough to finish looser watercolor painting. This is a time-lapse of original tutorial of this rubber tree leaf composition. Full tutorial is available on my Patreon page and is almost 40 minutes long.
For the background I'm using gouache paints which are very opaque and can cover background in one layer. You can use here any color you like. It will be also nice to apply br dark brown or black or golden color. You can use also acrylics if you are painting on a thicker paper. You can use acrylic paints. You can use black colored pencil and draw black background. If you don't like the background, you can cover again with different color. Gouache are very opaque and they will color the layer underneath. No problems at all. Here I'm using Windsor & Newton gouache paints. My background is completely dry and I can remove the tape and look at how neat and crisp borderline edge line I have for this painting. It gives a nice finished touch to any painting. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you learned something new and see you in my next tutorials. Bye bye!